were supposed to be talking about the celebration as the Chiefs had their Super Bowl parade, but it was marred by a shooting. We start with that breaking news from Kansas City. One person is dead and at least 10 others have been injured after a shooting at the parade celebrating the Chiefs Super Bowl victory. Police say the two suspects are in custody. Chiefs players had just vowed to win a third straight title and had left the stage when the shooting began and fans scattered. Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas and Police Chief Stacy Graves speaking moments ago. At the conclusion of the Chiefs rally today, there were shots fired on the west side of Union Station. Immediately, officers responded to the area, took two people into custody, and also immediately rendered life-sustaining aid to those victims. We're still gathering information on the number and the status of victims. But like I said, we know that one of the victims is deceased. We also know that officers ran towards danger Officers were there to keep everyone safe. I'm angry at what happened today. The people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment. We had over 800 law enforcement officers, Kansas City and other agencies, at the location to keep everyone safe. Because of bad actors, which were very few, this tragedy occurred, even in the presence of uniformed law enforcement officers, who again ran towards them and took them into custody. To the people who were injured in this tragedy, our hearts go out to you and your families. This investigation is just beginning, and we are working safely to clear all surrounding areas and businesses this is still an active investigation. We went out today, like everyone in Kansas City, looking to have a celebration. That celebration was marred by a shooting today. And we recognize that there are some who are injured. We are praying for the safety of everyone. I've talked to a few different uh, folks so far. One, we have spoken to the Kansas City Chiefs, who made clear that their prayers are with everyone who was at the parade today, everyone in Kansas City, and everyone who was touched by this incident. They also noted that their players, coaches, and staff are all accounted for at this point and safe. We, however, know that this is a fluid situation, so all that we are sharing now may change as the hours go ahead. We're joined now by ABC News reporter Alex Perez, who's been on the ground there in Kansas City all day and, and joins us now for his perspective. Alex, what more can you tell us about exactly what happened? Well, a day that started with joy and happiness quickly turned to sadness and tragedy. All of this unfolding right behind me here. This is uh, Union Station, the field in front of Union Station, where thousands of people had gathered to celebrate the Chiefs' big Super Bowl win. The rally here was just about to be over. The players were beginning to make their way off the stage when suddenly uh, shots were fired just to the west side of the Union Station building here. And of course, as you could imagine, when there are thousands of people gathered so closely together like that and they hear shots fired, there is immediate chaos. The crowds began to run, began to try to get to safety. We know now from authorities that at least one person is dead, 10 to 15 are injured. At this point right now, El, it remains unclear what led to this shooting or altercation. Authorities are still trying to figure uh, that out. But we heard from the police chief just a short time ago here, and she is upset, upset that the people, innocent people who came here to enjoy the celebration, to celebrate the chiefs, had to experience something like this, L. They're still trying to get to the bottom of what exactly caused this shooting. Certainly it's a developing story, but I know that you've been talking to people over the last few hours since the shooting. Just give me what the reaction's been there in KC. Yeah, I mean, people are traumatized. They were here all day having a good time, laughing and smiling, and suddenly they're running for their lives. I spoke to one mom who told me she actually jumped on top of her daughter to protect her, not really knowing what exactly uh, was going on. People who had been out here camping out with, you know, coolers and chairs and other things left all that 
and ran to get to safety. Um, this is something that a lot of people here, the people we talk to, are upset. They're tired of dealing with violence. They're tired of dealing with gun violence. And now to have something like this happen on a day that's supposed to be joyous and a celebration of their team, well, you can imagine, El, they are heartbroken. We heard from the KC Mayor Quentin Lucas as well, uh, a quote that I want to read that he said, I don't want us to have to in our country for every big event, think about a concern of being shot. But according to Gun Violence Archive, there have been 47 mass shootings this year and we are on calendar day 45. Alex, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, any new information, we'll bring it to you right here on SportsCenter. Well, once again, one person is dead and up to 15 others have been injured after a shooting at the parade and rally in Kansas City celebrating the Chiefs Super Bowl victory. This happened after the players had left and exited. In addition to uh, the players, they are all safe, by the way. They were on their way to Arrowhead. Uh, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes posting this to X this afternoon after the event saying, quote, praying for Kansas City. Here's some of the witnesses on the ground that were there and they're first-hand accounts. We were over on the left side of the stage and we were like headed off to go up the hill towards the memorial to get out of there and all of a sudden everybody just starts running right at us. We were probably feet from it. So you heard gunfire? Yes. Did you see people get shot? I didn't see the people on the ground. I saw somebody Turn and fall. Ran. You saw somebody fall? <laughs> I didn't realize what happened until she told me. I'm absolutely terrified right now. And honestly, I don't think I could handle going back to another parade for this. It's not worth my daughter's life. I guess really being that close, I mean, you know, you just, you, you could, I mean, wrong place at the wrong time. You know, you this, I guess you feel like you could have been in the line of gunfire possibly, right? Absolutely, if somebody hadn't ran into us and turned us around, we could have been next. Uh, honestly, I am very thankful for our responders and our police. Um, they were very, very quick to rush over there and get the rest of the crowd out of the way and to try to help. Security guard was like, get over the damn fence right now. Yeah, There's a shooter. We hop over. I, I hit my face on accident. But then, so I headed in there. I had no idea where he was. I, I headed in there. There's like an FBI agent named Megan. She's like, all right, are you okay? Just like, find your friends and everything. But then, so I just headed all the way over here. But there was like second shots in Union Station. And she's like, get out of there right now. So we had no idea, but it's just... You heard shots inside Union Station, too? That, that's where I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I heard shots in Union Station. They might have been a little bit outside. I'm not sure, though. What did you initially hear? Was it one, two? What did you initially hear? I'm, I'm pretty sure when I was standing outside, I heard just like, boom, boom, like real quick. And then the security, I was like, get over the barricade, get in Union Station, or just like, get over here right now. Just, come on, come on, let's go. And then... So we went in the like we went in the new station. Like, we, like I had no idea if my friends were okay. Like it's just it's terrible. Like Super Bowl victory. Police say that two suspects are in custody. Chiefs players had just vowed to win a third straight title and had left the stage when the shooting began and fans scattered. We're going to get the witness sound right now as we have continued live reaction from Kansas City. Let's hear from the witnesses on what they saw and what they experienced. All of a sudden, people started crushing forward. Everybody started running. There was screaming. We didn't know what was happening, but this day and age when people run, you run. And so I put my arms around her and we tried to push through so people wouldn't run on top of us. And there was a woman crying, saying something about somebody had been shot. Um, of course, it's hard to know, is it a singular incident or is there an active shooter? But we got pushed all the way up to Union Station where they had gated everything off so you couldn't get in for the chiefs. And everybody started jumping the um, rails and pushing everybody over. We got inside and we thought that, okay, it's calm now. We're inside, we'll be safe. And we had moved down the stairs so we could exit back out. And I told my, my daughter, let's just sit down for a minute in here and breathe because we don't have a car. We don't even know where to go. And about that time, people started running again. And some girls were saying um, there was shooting. And all of a sudden, they all started come running out. And then you see all this policemen come run, running in there. Um, and you knew something happened in the station. You knew something happened inside while everybody was coming out. Yeah, this is shocking because this is supposed to be a, a joyous occasion. We've got new information here for you from KMBC in Kansas City.
Children's Mercy Hospital says they're treating 12 patients, uh. 11 of which are children, and nine of whom have gunshot wounds. Police say that two suspects are in custody. The chiefs themselves have just released a statement and it says, quote, we're truly saddened by the senseless act of violence that occurred outside of Union Station at the conclusion of today's parade and rally. Our hearts go out to the victims, their families, and all of Kansas City. We're in close communication with the mayor's office as well as the Kansas City Police Department. At this time, we've confirmed that all of our players, coaches, staff, and their families are safe and accounted for. We thank the local law enforcement officers and first responders who were on scene to assist.